Police have three suspects in custody following a deadly hit and run near Yankee Stadium. Investigators say stolen catalytic converters were found in the suspect's car. CBS 2's Ali Bowen reports on the skyrocketing thefts and a family's heartbreak. A mangled car sits just outside Yankee Stadium. Police believe its driver, with two passengers inside, ran a red light early Thursday morning, crashing into and killing 69 year old Kathy Garcia, a beloved grandmother and employee of the Corrections Department. Wonderful woman, um, incredible, just wonderful. Like, you know, the, 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 the life of the party, a great grandmother, great friend. Police say the three suspects fled the scene and left behind about a dozen stolen catalytic converters in their car. It's a, a major problem in this area. It's a major problem all over. NYPD data shows catalytic converter thefts are up 269% citywide so far this year compared to last. Around the corner from the crash at El Condado del Muffler, mechanic Ana Reyes saw three customers today alone who had theirs stolen. Every day, every day. The converters contain valuable precious metals. Reyes advises drivers to replace their stolen ones with aftermarket parts. Because when you install the original one, they're going to steal it again. Police say the three suspects turned themselves in and are awaiting arraignment. The driver, Carlos Hernandez, is charged with leaving the scene of an accident, and all three are charged with possession of stolen property. Anyone who sells or buys a stolen catalytic converter can be charged with a felony, but only if it's more than $1,000 in value. In this case, the invaluable loss was Kathy Garcia's life. In the concourse section of the Bronx, Ali Bauman, CBS2 News.